I'm Dan Brown here with Arlen, who is at the uh, the porta potty station. You're the, you're the sanitation station in front of the porta potties. That is correct. We uh, we're in charge of making sure that everything flows smooth and and uh, all that all that is in the at the porta potty station. So everything flows smooth in more ways than one. Uh, correct. And what is the craziest thing you've seen happen within the porta potty sanitation station area? Uh, stuff that I really would not prefer to say on camera because you see a lot of uh, a lot of nasty stuff in there, and so I won't go into details, but it's it's quite nasty, and so it's very nasty. How would you describe the aroma in four words or less? Actually, not bad this year compared to last year. They've done a great job. Bonnaroo's done a great job of re rearranging these from last year to, to enhance it even better, so the smell has not been that bad this year at all, truly. Would you say that this is a uh, shitty job? I'd, I'd say it's one of the shittiest. You know, Bonnaroo supports the band, supports the local community, and so this is one way they do it, and it helps the fans out, so glad to do it. Right now we are waiting for someone to emerge from the bathroom. I'm Dan Brown with The Fuse. How was your porta potty experience? It was lovely. Really? No. How would you rate the smell on a scale of one to three? I wouldn't know because I had this over my face the entire time. How does was, that thing smell? Pretty good. At this point, I'm going to say they're probably pooping. Hey, I'm Dan with Fuse. Everything come out all right? Hey, I'm Dan Brown with Fuse. How was your pee? Uh, it was pretty damn good. How do you rate the smell of the porta potty? Uh, pff, a 10 on the horribleness scale, I would say. It's pretty bad. I've, I've seen some things that I don't want to, uh, I never want to see again. Hey, I'm Dan Brown. On a scale of 1 to 10, was it a number one or a number two? Five. How would you rate your porta potty experience here? Okay. It's really somewhat clean, but the toilet paper's like on the floor, and I don't like using it. But I mean, no, but like you know, have you seen that movie? Um, what's that movie? The, the Jackass. Nobody's done that to me yet. You know, like the, the slingshot porta potty. It hasn't happened to me today. Wait, is that something that happens often? Often, every year. Bye. Cool. Bye. Woo! I'm Dan Brown. Everything come out okay? It was awesome. It was fantastic. How would you rate your porta potty experience here at uh, Bonnaroo? Eight out of ten, definitely. Eight out of ten. What could make it a ten out of ten? Um, less. Sh it's literally everywhere. What else you got? Uh, uh, you wipe down the seat before you sit down in the porta potties. I don't touch the seat in a porta potty. N not even before you sit down on the seat. I don't sit on it. I don't touch it. Oh, you just squat over the top. Of it? I work out a lot, so I've mastered my squatting technique. What does that look like? It's a pretty good squat. Hey, I'm Dan Brown. On a scale of 1 to 10, how many pounds lighter are you? That's rude. It kind of is, but it's kind of funny, too. So, what have we learned about Bonnaroo 2012, the porta potty situation? Well, there's probably worse places to drop the kids off at the pool, although there probably aren't worse pools to drop the kids off in. For all of your Bonnaroo coverage needs, go to the Fuse YouTube channel.